This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I do appreciate all my Capricorns out here. For my cross watches, this energy can be resonated. So just be a little aware of that. My name is Big Reader, the Million Dollar Terror. For those of you that are new, and welcome to the Million Dollar Channel. We have This Is Your Life's Purpose. So for a lot of my Capricorns that are wondering why something happened to them recently, why something came into their life, why they were put in a position to do something, I don't know if this is something that you don't want to do, something that you were forced to do, but it looks like for some of you, this is your life's purpose. A lot of you wondering why you've taken on a certain career path or decided to look into a different career path. For those of you that are currently in a situation, we have a favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome of this situation, which is perfect, fair, and everyone involved. Thank you. Okay, so for a lot of you, this is you being able to actually let go of something. Something that really hurt you at one point. We have this time to leave an unhealthy situation. So for a lot of you, this is a relationship or this is something that just caused you a lot of pain. For some of you, this could have even been a job that you had to walk away from recently. We have believe and trust. So for a lot of you, this is you believing in yourself. This is you taking on a new path in your life. This is you actually opening up to new things. But for a lot of my Capricorns, this is really hard for you. We got to make a commitment. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is you committing to something new. Whether this is a new relationship, whether this is a new job, or whether this is something you're just dedicated to in general. We got to decide to be happy. So for a lot of my Capricorns, it's up to you if you're happy. If you walk around with that energy that, you know, the world is against you, everyone's against you, and you kind of walk around with a chip in your shoulder, then... That's just what going to be what it is. But if you actually decide to walk around like, can't nobody touch me. I'm untouchable. That high priestess energy. And don't let anybody see you sweat. You know, it's your choice to be happy. So it's up to you what your mood is every day when you wake up. I am still doing five for five questions for Capricorn. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-O. The email is there for gmail.com. You can check out the description below for more. So we got shield yourself. So for a lot of our Capricorns, whether this is letting go of some friends or whether this is letting go of a situation, a lot of you are in a situation that's making you unhappy and it's starting to reflect on your mood, your friends noticing it, your family noticing it. For some of you, your kids, somebody could be 24, we got holding. So for a lot of you, this is you getting back to you. Stella's got her groove back. You know, a little bit of feminine energy. Somebody could be 43, we got innocence. So for those of you that have a legal situation going on or might not even be legal. Somebody could have just lied on you or, you know, maybe you're just having to prove yourself to somebody. I'm seeing that things are going to work in your favor, especially with fulfillment. That goal will be accomplished. That legal situation will turn around. Things are going to work out. We got reflection. Somebody got before you brought a little bit of Capricorn energy. So this could be you. Some of you could be dealing with another Capricorn. So for a lot of you, this is you having a reality check with yourself. This is you looking back and deciding what's more important to you. What do you want? What do you feel like you want in somebody. What needs to be at the table in order for Capricorn to be satisfied? Besides what somebody's bringing, because somebody can bring something to the table, but what if it's not enough for you or vice versa? We got priorities. Somebody can be 30. So for a lot of my Capricorns, this is you focusing on your priorities. This is you focusing on what's more important for you. What's important for Capricorn right now? Somebody could be 39. We got accepted. So this could be you wanting to be accepted. I don't know if this is in a family dynamic or by someone, about someone's friends, by someone's family. We got a lot of different situations. I don't really think Capricorn really cares. I don't know. We got transformation. So for a lot of you, this is you changing who you are. This is you changing how you carry yourself. We got simple pledges. Look for the beauty that's all around you. So for a lot of my Capricorns, especially for those of you that's trying to push through an insecurity or just push through a dark moment, we have trust your gut feelings. So for a lot of you, you um, I didn't mean to drop that, but um, your gut feeling's been trying to tell you something recently. This is you trying to figure out, we had wholeness, now we got longing back to wholeness. This is a lot of you trying to get back to you. It's like you miss a certain point you were at in your life, and now you're chasing that moment again. For a lot of my Capricorns out here, we got moving forward, experiencing the grace of who you are. This is you actually allowing yourself to move forward. Some of you are in a situation because you want to be in it. We have make friends. So for a lot of you, this is you networking. This is you stepping back out there, especially for those of you that are recently divorced or that just got out of a really toxic situation. You don't have to rush into nothing. Make friends, mingle, flirt. We have ending the trauma. This is 
a bad situation coming to an end, the tower effect in a good way for a lot of you. I appreciate all my Capricorns. Thank you.